Alright, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss further into the discovery project section of my calculus book, and I'll go over question three of the patterns in integrals uh, project. And uh, just to recap, it's just uh, part of a project in my calculus book called Discovery Project, which explores uh, specific topics in calculus in greater detail. And in this uh, patterns and integrals project. We'll basically be using a computer algebra system or a CAS to investigate indefinite integrals of families of functions. And then by observing the patterns, we can derive the, um, yeah, derive the formula for the, the general formula for the family of integrals and then also prove it uh, using uh, well, basic integrals. Yeah, basic in integration techniques to prove that guessing with uh, CAS is is pretty good still. So now let's go to question three, which states so uh, part A, <coughs> use a computer algebra system to evaluate the following integrals. Integral of this one is uh, ln x, and the second one is x ln x, and this is x squared ln x, this is x, uh, x cubed ln x, this is x to the power of seven ln x, and then once you uh, solve those, part B says, <coughs> Yeah, part B says, based on the pattern of your responses in part A, guess the value of the integral right here, x power of n, ln x, dx. And then um, basically check, the part C is check your guess with a cast, then prove it using integration by parts, and then find for what values of n is it valid. So let's uh, do part A, solve these using a cast. Uh, like always, you can just pop up the uh, browser right here, and then you can Google integral calculator or derivative calculator if you're using derivatives etc and they all use uh, online CAS or computer algebra systems. Let's click this first one okay let's go back to here so now let's solve the first one is ln x and there you go that's, so we're gonna click go and see what the answer is here yeah, so this one is uh, x times ln x minus 1 plus c. I will add these all into my notes soon. So now let's put an x in front, x times ln x. We get x squared 2 ln x minus 1 divided by 4. And then x uh, power of 2. x cubed 3, then ln x minus 1 divided by 9. Yeah, they all look very, very similar. Let's check this one right here. x cubed, this is x4, 4, and 16. And the last one, let's see what this is, 7 right here. And we get x power of 8, 8 uh, ln x minus 1. So yeah, here if I copy and paste all the answers, we get them over here. It's part A, so ln x becomes uh, x ln x minus 1 plus c. We'll call this, this is our i. This is our i i. This is x squared ln x. So they all look very, very similar. So for this one, let's just say it's power of 1 divided by, well, um, 1 right here. Just so it looks uh, like this, we're all, they're all divided by. I'll get to this in a bit when we see the pattern. This I, 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 this I, V, and then this is V right here. So let's look at part B right now. So we've solved all those based on the pattern of your response to part A. Guess the value of x, n, ln x. So the general uh, for, uh, integral for this family of integrals. So let's go B. This is x power of n, ln x, dx. So let's look at these. So if we look at these right here, this could be considered, well, x to the power of 0. Because, well, that's uh, x power of 0 is just going to be 1. So then this is x power of 1. And then you have x power of 2, etc. So now let's, let's look at it. This is n equals to 0. And as you can see, if this is n equals 0, this one has a higher x. This is an x1 goes to x2. x2 goes to x3. So as you can see, there's a pattern there. And now when we look at the other thing that's different between, in front of this, there's a 1 right here. But this one, so it goes from 0 to 1. This one goes from 1 to 2 as well. So there's a 2 and there's a squared right there. This 2 goes to a 3, then the 3 uh, cubed. And then if we go all the way to this uh, 7, it goes to an 8 
and an 8. So there's a pattern of an n plus 1 inside. So and then the only other thing that's different is over here. Notice that these are all uh, squares of, of uh, these numbers. So this uh, 2 goes to 3, and then 3 squared. So 3 squared equals 9. Right here, f uh, then we have right here, 4 squared equals, well, 16. And then the last one, 8 squared equals 64. So we can well guess that uh, they all follow this pattern of of uh, integral of let's say x this is going to be n plus one because that's this is if n is zero it goes to one so we add one then we have it in brackets right here we're going to have well n plus one in front of the lawn and lawn x minus one all over now we have n plus one which is this number but squared and then plus c. So if we look at all these, we could yeah, you could plug these all into it as well. So if if you have this seven, the seven becomes well eight, eight squared sixty four. Then you have an eight in front, and that's exactly this. So basically, this is integral of this equals two, um, yeah, equals two. What is it? N plus one. This is x to the power of n plus one times it by bracket n plus 1 ln x minus 1 yeah, minus 1 right here and then all divided by I don't know why it's moving like that all divided by n plus 1 plus c oh this is squared so that is our guess based on the pattern so now let's look at part c which is check your guess with the cast then prove it using integration by parts and for what values of n is valid. So we plug this inside here now. So we could, with this calculator, you could use variable, you have variables here. So let's go with x to the power of uh, n. And then it's just a general variable. And there's our xn plus 1. There's n plus 1 ln x minus 1 n plus 1 squared. is exactly what we just uh, uh, derived. And there's a, assume that n is not equal to negative 1, so that the bottom is not equal to 0. Yeah, and here I've copied and pasted uh, this answer, and again, n is not equal to 0. It could be anything but not equal to, I mean, negative 1, so that you don't have a 1 over 0, which is not defined. Yeah, so it's not defined like that. And now notice that this uh, calculator gave us the exact same answer. So that's... Uh, yes, yeah, so now we're even more confident that this is right, but to be 100% sure, let's prove it uh, by parts. So integration by parts, recall that, well, u dv equals 2 uv minus v du. And you can see a video link below in my earlier video on by parts to, to get better understanding of this. So if we have this, now when we look at the function well integral of x and ln x in this case what we're gonna do is let we're gonna let yeah, dx right here we're gonna let u equals to yeah equals to ln x and the reason for that is because when you take the derivative it becomes simpler so because du equals to well 1 over x dx so if that's the case and, and we could solve the integral of well x power of n so our dv is going to equal to the remainder that's left in the integrand x and then uh, x power of n dx so that's this and this right there so that v is equal uh, yes yeah, our v or integral of this is equals to n plus one and then divided by n plus one right there so we get those right there so this equals two u which is ln x, v is this, so we have it as x n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 times it by ln x, and then minus the integral of v du, integral right here of x n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 times it by, and now it's uh, du, which is 1 over x, uh, and then dx times it by 1 over x dx right there 
Now this x is the same thing as uh, saying x power of 1, so you could subtract xn plus 1 divided by uh, xn, so you could subtract those, so this becomes, let's write this out, n plus 1 ln x minus, and I'll take this out of there, 1 plus 1, take the constant out, integral of, well, just xn dx. So now this becomes x n plus, I'll take out the, um, yeah, I'll take, uh, actually, I'll leave these in there. I'll just leave that uh, n plus 1 there right now. So this n plus 1 ln x minus, and now what we get here when we solve this integral, n plus 1 times it by, this is going to be x n plus 1 divided by and plus one and then plus a constant c at the end. So that's integral of that. And we also add, add a constant c. And now what we have is well yeah something similar to uh, our answer or our answer that we derived but uh, this is all expanded. So what we could do is find the we'll add up the factor out actually the common denominator. This goes to n plus one this has n plus one squared. So what we'll do is I'll move this around, so multiply this top and bottom by n plus 1, so that we have an n plus 1 squared, and then we'll take that outside of it, as well as this xn plus 1, and x uh, n plus 1 here, because it occurs in both sides. So we're basically factoring this entire side out. So what we get is, and cause, because that occurs here too, so what we get is x n plus 1 over, well, n plus 1 squared. Now we have this ln x, actually this part is still in there. That extra n plus 1, ln x, and then minus 1. And then plus c. So there is our exact answer that we proved. And once again, n is not equal to negative 1 because you have the uh, undefined or goes to infinity, 1 divided by 0. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this pretty interesting um, example or uh, yeah, on, on solving uh, yeah, on solving or, or finding proofs of families of integrals based on just using a, using a computer to find out specific uh, examples of that family. So here we were able to derive one for this good, this general form, and it was correct. And this just shows you how powerful computers are. So as you can see, the proof of this, we did all this algebra, all this uh, by parts uh, technique, and we still, and then, and then we just proved that it's still correct. So this shows us how powerful computers are. And it was all for today. Um, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution